Welcome to Awesome Music. <laughs> Remember me, it's John from Osmond Music. Sorry I've been away uh, so long, guys. I uh, hope everybody's well. Um, listen, this is a follow on. Uh, I did a, if you check out my Def Sharp 11 site uh, channel, and so go on that icon, get into the channel, and go to the playlists, and go to rock techniques and rock licks. I did a, a, b a bunch of rock licks, basically essential rock licks, I think are worth knowing. Um, ten of them, blues and rock licks that everybody must know and uh, I've broken those down into great detail so it's worth doing those first and when you've done that check out this because I'm just going to show you how to mix and match them uh, to, uh, to get a few licks together and make by a mix and match principle thing, you can say an awful lot of things they're all in the key of A so they're basically played from the A pentatonic minor scale Okay, that's what we use in rock and blues. To find the key of A, if you checked out my mu music theory course, um, that will tell you how to find the keys to things, but it's basically if you start on the fifth fret, E, open E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. It's not essential to know this, but it's worthwhile. And learn this scale, which is basically what I'm tabbed out here, 5, 8, Five seven five seven five seven five eight five eight. I do that in the, the licks as well, and also that's it pictorially done in the diagram form on the fifth fret. One four one three one three. So it's all movable, but I'm not going to go into great detail on the licks because they're 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 actually done like I say on the playlists, and so just basically I've tabbed them out here. I've done a, a lick one. Lick 2, L2, Lick 3, Lick 4. I'm going to show you how to maybe mix and match it. Anything in a bracket means you bend it and you've got to be above it. RB means release bend or return bend. That little waggle means vibrato. So here's a little glossary. Bend, RB, release bend. And that little there means uh, vibrato. So basically you've got Lick 1. Again, like I say, just check them out. Lick two, lick three, which is almost like a very chuck berry lick, you know, the, you know, all, the, all these licks, that's uh, seven, and I explain how to do these, so go over them, and lick four, I call this like a Jimi Hendrix style lick, because Jimi used to like using this one a lot, where you pull off, okay? Uh, so you've got four separate licks. So what I'm going to do, and you can do this any any way you like. You could mix and match whatever. But I'm going to use L1, lick one, lick four, L4, plus lick two, plus lick one. It looks like a it looks like a mathematical equation. I don't want it to uh, scare anybody. Right. So here we go. It's like being back at school. Listen, I hope not. Because <laughs> you're the shudders just thinking about it. Lick one. Here we go. Now if I go to lick four, which is this one, and I'm saying let's go to lick two, and back to lick one. Now if you were to seamlessly put these together, lick one, L1, L4, plus L4, lick four, plus lick two, plus lick one, you would get something like Sorry, lick one. Lick two. Lick one again. So let's just do that again. I'll put a little bit of a backing down, I'll try to. So that's how you create little bits of solos. You, it's just like learning a language. It's like learning key little phrases, the lingo. That's called, um, and once you've got these under your fingers, you can mix and match and you can say it an awful lot. 
Okay, so that's a good way to start to get your improvisations going. So I'm going to leave it there with you. I'm going to do some more. By the way, once you understand this principle, I'll just quickly show you. 5 8, listen, this is key of A, remember? And that same pattern. And I play those licks. If I play it in the key of G, E, F, F sharp, G, same pattern. And I can also, I can play exactly the same licks internally speaking, the same things, same register. This is A. This is in G. It's in F. B. I hope that makes sense. So I can play any of these licks together. That's the Jimi Hendrix lick in G. Okay. So uh, if that's a revelation to you, if that's a penny dropping moment, a ha ha moment, uh, and it makes sense to you, that's great. Okay. So that's why theory is essential. Okay. And if you, if you go to a, a guitar teacher, you just don't want to just learn to play. Um, bits of songs all the while and tabs if you understand the theory and what's going on behind it you can be empowered and you can do all these things like improvisation and everything like that i'm proud of you guys peace amigos